Hello, this is Ricardo from the Intersight TME team. In this video, we are going to explore how to execute Ansible playbooks within Intersight orchestration. If you're using Intersight.com, you will need to have an Intersight assist claimed and in connected state. The assist will then reach via SSH your claimed Ansible target. This is where your playbook needs to be stored. If you're using the private virtual appliance or the connected virtual appliance, the appliance itself will have the required connectivity to reach directly your claimed Ansible target. Please check intersight.com slash help for additional information and requirements. In a Linux host, we have created an Ansible playbook. We are under the Ansible demo directory. And within the create demo file.yaml, we have our playbook, which basically creates a demo.txt file containing the word intersight. The file will be created under a directory that needs to be specified by a user using a variable called path underscore variable. Before we invoke the execution from intersight, we need to claim our target. We go under system, targets, and then we claim a new target. We're going to use the orchestrator category and we select the Ansible endpoint. So we need to use an intersight assist. I'm going to pick one of the two I have in my lab. And I'm going to give it a name as well as an IP address. I'm also going to specify the username and password in order to connect to this Linux host. And go ahead and claim it. And I can see that it is in the claim in progress state. And if I click on that, I can check that it's connected. Now I can use it within Cloud Orchestrator. So I can just go ahead and select Cloud Orchestrator. And we're going to create a new workflow. We're going to give the name, which is create a demo file using Ansible. We can enable debug logs. And now we want to create a workflow input that basically allows the user to specify to what directory we want this file to be created on. So we're gonna give it a name directory and the reference name is going to be directory again. We mark that as a required input. And we move to the designer canvas where I pick the invoke Ansible playbook executor. Under general, I can change its name I will call it create file. Under inputs, we have three mandatory parameters, the Ansible controller, the playbook path, and the host inventory. So we're going to uh, map our Ansible controller. And if we click on select Ansible controller, we can see the Ansible host that we just claimed. Go ahead and map it. Under playbook path, we need to specify where is our Ansible playbook in the host we've claimed. And in my case, it's under the Ansible demo directory and it's called create demo file.yaml as we've seen on the SSH terminal. So for host inventory, we have a couple of options. We can either provide an inventory file that is going to be present in the target, or we can specify a list of hosts where we want to execute against. So in this case, I'm going to execute against myself. So I'm going to use localhost comma and go ahead and map it. So we want to pass the variables and we can do that using the command line arguments. We can use the dash E options to pass an environment variable called path underscore variable. And we're going to replace this value with the templating syntax .global .workflow .input directory, which is the reference name of the workflow input we created a moment ago. We go ahead and map it. And then we save the workflow for validation. So before we execute that, we want to do some checks on the Linux host so we can see that within this directory, there's nothing aside from the playbook itself. So let's execute the workflow. We are going to specify the directory where we want this file to be created. And it's going to be under the Ansible demo, intersight-demo. We go ahead and execute that. And in a few seconds, we can see that the workflow has succeeded. 
So if we check back on the directory, we can see that we now have the InterSight demo directory as well as the Ansible log files. If we check within the directory and we cut the content of the demo.txt file, we can see the word InterSight. We can inspect under the execution the outputs. We can see the execution log path as well as the execution summary where um, we can find the change task count, the fail tasks, the node where we executed against, the success tasks, and so on. In the native task, we need to pass variables as common parameters. However, the community has created new workflows to make this process easier. You can go to InterSide Orchestration DevNet page, download and import the execute Ansible playbook workflow. This implementation will allow users to specify variables as a list of elements and will work the same way as the native one giving the chance to specify as many variables you want as long as your playbook supports them.